Hey, I'm Nora Brown. I'm coming to you from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm so excited to be here at the virtual get-together hosted by the Floyd County Store. Um, first off, I want to thank Sophie and Dylan for having me. All right, here's a little bit of Jenny Put the Kettle On. Got this from Virgil Anderson. That's a Virgil Anderson tune, um, my favorite banjo is banjoist. This is the tune that I'll be doing for, how am I going to do this, this year? Um, the workshop, which is East Virginia. And I got this from a lot of folks. It's, it's pretty similar to the tune Little Maggie, which I got from Lee Sexton, um, who, uh, learn a lot of tunes from. Um, Lee actually recently passed away. It's very, very sad that um, I, I you know, spent a lot of time with Lee, so hopefully I, I think I've, you know, I'm so happy that I got to do that and learn so much from him. So anyways, this is Little East Virginia, which is almost identical to Little Maggie, just different words. Anyways, here we go.
special banjo um, holding on to it before it heads to the Library of Congress um, and yeah uh, John Cohen who I mentioned earlier um, uh, musician filmmaker visual artist all of that um, he, this was his banjo which um, Roscoe Halcom often played in recordings and shows and touring with John and the New Lost City Ramblers it's got a pretty cool marking that I sometimes show Right up here, you can see there's a, maybe I'll turn to this guy. Um, there's a slight divot right here, and first we were like, where is that, where is that from? Did I do that? I hope not. Um, and it's from this button right here on the strap that's rub been rubbed in that spot so much it's created like a, a smooth little um, cut in the wood right there. So that's a cool thing. <laughs> I always like things that show kind of like uh, the use on um, instrument or, you know, really anything. Um, all right, so this next one is one I learned from uh, Floyd's own Mac Trainum um, and a while ago. Yeah, so this tune, I believe Mac told me there was a little bit of mix-up in the naming situation um, when this was recorded, I believe from Wade Ward, um, mixed up with Lost Indian, and, but this is the real half shade. It got, I don't know the full story, but I believe uh, there was just, I think it happens a lot, you know, and there's so many versions of all these songs that it's hard to tell when, you know, you really got the wrong song or just a different version. Alright, anyways, here's a little half shave, let me just make sure I'm in tune. Thank you. 
uh, I hope to see some of you in the workshop. And yeah, and yeah. All right. Hey, Chris Trulson here. And Kalia Yeagle. We're half of Bill in the Bells, the Johnson City half. And we're happy to be here with the Handmade Music School this afternoon. Hope that you're having fun at the virtual old time gathering and uh, the virtual old time get together. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going to play some tunes. This is uh, this song here that we're going to kick things off with is an old Jess Young song. Jess Young was a great fiddler from Chattanooga. Uh, who who really was was a hot fiddler, and this is called the Old Weary Blues. One, two, three. We talked all things fork and deer, so I'm going to dive into one of those versions, this particular one inspired by Charlie Bowman's fiddling and his funky five-part version of fork and deer that I really enjoy. What's, what's, the difference between, what's the difference between a fork and deer and a forky deer? Is this a joke? I what is it, Chris? Be. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm just wondering. But Someone there's... write that punchline. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Is this one, is this a forky deer this or a is, forked deer? This is forked. Nice. I'm 75% sure. <laughs> Sometimes I fall into calling them forky deer because it's fun. <laughs> but I think this is a forked. We have a park in town called winged deer, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I call that forked deer by accident. Too. I do too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Inspired by Charlie Bowman's Fork and Deer.
That is a cool one. All right. Well, we got one more tune for you. Hope that, again, uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon and hope that you're learning a lot and having fun. Um, we've got one more tune here. We got two guitars. Kalia and I are working on a, a duet record that we're going to cut uh, in the next few months, so keep your eyes open for that. We're excited about it. Working up a bunch of new material for it, um, including this song here. We'll give it a shot. This is called uh, My Rainbow Trail Keeps Winding On. It's a song that Carrie Rogers, Jimmy Rogers' wife, wrote after Jimmy Rogers passed away. <clears throat> and it's a pretty song, and it's kind of a, it's kind of a rarity, I guess. Um, we'll do we'll do our version of it. <clears throat> Let's see. Everybody, um, my name is Becky Hill, and I'm here with my friend Anna Harrod, and we're gonna do a song she just taught me. And I learned this song from a recording of the CBS Trumpeteers, and it's called Milky White Way. Yes, I'm going to all go the Milky White Way. Oh Lord, some of these days. Father, go 
caught the sign. Well, well, well. I'm gonna walk home and take my stand. Gonna join that heavenly band. That's when we walk over oh, that milky white way. Oh, Lord, some of these days. I'm gonna. Joking all from the plane of Luther Strong. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Mac Trainum, and we're glad you could join us tonight for this uh, virtual concert for the uh, March 2021 Floyd Old Time Get Together. Uh, this is my daughter Hannah, and uh, we're together tonight. We're going to play a few tunes from the Blue Ridge here. Let's start out with that one called Don't Drink Nothing But Corn.
try a piece of, called uh, Old Time Fire in the Mountain. It comes from right here in Floyd County from Old Time Fellas Denton Wimmer and Sam Connor. <laughs> missing some dancers right. all right here's a tune kind of a unique version of a popular piece called barlow knife it comes from right around this area just the old two-part version
that was Andrew Small fiddling Walking in My Sleep. And I'm Ashley Watkins, and this is The Sunny Side of Life. That's a nice happy number for you. Uh, we learned that last one from, uh, well, a combination of the Blue Sky Boys and also uh, from the Strange, Strange Creek, Creek Singers. Says. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the Strange Creek Singers feature two of our favorite singers. We love all four of them, but two of them are Mike Seeger and Alice Gerard, and that's who we got this next one from. And this is My Dear Companion. Thank you. 
that's a nice one, isn't it? Pretty. Yeah. Well, we've really enjoyed playing for you all tonight. We sure have. And once again, I'm Andrew Small, and this is Ashley Watkins. And we've got one more number for you here to go out on. This is one that comes from the great bluegrass songwriter, originally from Fancy Gap, Virginia, named Roy McMillan. And this song is called Cold Wind.
you. Thank you very much. I'm Jake Blunt. That's Tatiana Hargraves. Uh, that tune was one called Rolling River. It comes from a black string band trio named Gribble Lusk and York from Campaign, Tennessee. And uh, this next one we're going to play for you is a song called John Henry. John Henry is the most recorded folk song in American history, and it tells the story of an African-American folk hero who uh, was a steel driving man. His job was to, to knock an iron into the side of a mountain and place charges inside so they could blow a tunnel through to the other side. And John Henry was working around the time that a steam-powered hammer was introduced, and he took on the steam-powered hammer in a test of speed to see who could reach the other side of the mountain first. Uh, John Henry won, and then immediately collapsed and died upon reaching the other side. So the moral of the story is even when the old time song sounds happy, it's not. <laughs> it's an absolute rule, someone has to die. It's only reality. Ooh, ooh. We all do it one day. Never thought I'd be the bright one. <laughs> it's a challenge, all right. <laughs> This is the hammer killed John Henry, laid him low, laid him low. This is the hammer killed John Henry, laid him low, laid him low. Yeah. 